So today we're going to talk about uh, two of our Odorex products that help eliminate animal odour and that can be animal odour from uh, vomit, faeces, um, anal gland secretion or even cat urine. One of our best selling products and it's been on the market for nearly 20 years now is our Odorex deodorizer for cats. Now if you do have a cat pee problem this is always the product that we'll recommend over Animal Odor Eliminator. Animal Odor Eliminator will actually get rid of the cat pee odor, but we always recommend cats because it's specifically formulated to get rid of that cat pee smell, and it is an awful smell. We thank cats all around New Zealand and overseas for keeping us in business for 20 years, um, but uh, it can be a real, real problem in some people's houses. So, what I've got for you prepared, which I've actually only just discovered this morning because it's been under my coffee table, is a possibly pee, possibly vomit stain on the carpet. You can see that yellow stain there. Looks like it's been there for a while. Um, I actually look after dogs in my house, so we're, we know it's not cat pee, but we're just going to show you how the Odorex deodorizer for cats works, just, uh, just for this demonstration. So in an earlier video I showed you how to use the animal odor eliminator and today I'm going to show you how to use Odorex deodorizer for cats. Okay, so as we've said previously, all our products work on the source um, of the odor, on contact, the source of the odor. So whichever product you're using, you make sure that you use enough of it and that it actually reaches the source of the odor. So you're not just using it as an air freshener, you're actually thoroughly saturating the area. For that reason, we supply this product in a pour bottle rather than a trigger spray. So, if this was a fresh stain, I would be mopping this up as best I can, um, you know, the, the fresh liquid as best as I can. And then I would use the cat. All you're going to do is just pop that just cap there and pour it on there. Okay, one thing we haven't done is taken off the lid. So <laughs> you'll notice that inside the lid there is a little uh, seal cap. So you just want to remove that seal cap. That's simply in there so that during transportation the liquid doesn't come out. So take out the seal cap, very important step. And then simply pour the liquid on. You just squeeze the bottle and enough will come out. Okay, now we've had never had reports that any of our products have stained carpet or ruined carpet, but if you have a uh, very special carpet uh, or you're just a little bit concerned, um, I would recommend doing a spot test. But as I say, we've never had any reaction. If anything, people have cleaned their cat pee up or their dog vomit up, and they found that um, that spot is actually cleaner than the rest of the carpet and they may want to go ahead and you know get a carpet cleaner in just to get everything matching um, and that's all you do you just let that product work now if this is a really old stain I might have to do a couple of applications but we'll come back later and see how that's worked uh, if this is a stain that cats have repetitively peed on then you may find that the the urine has actually soaked through to the floorboards. This here, as you can see, is just a mat on wooden floorboards, so I'm not too concerned about that. But if you find that, or if you assume that it actually has soaked down into the floorboards and the underlay, then I would just take an old rag and, and actually just stomp that down, just to make sure it's going right down through the carpet fibers. You're not actually you're not actually soaking this up, you're just trying to stamp it down and work it into the carpet fibres. I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. As I can see that I've missed a spot there. It smells really good. It smells like bubblegum actually. And then we're going to leave that. So I'm going to come back uh, maybe in about an hour or so and show you how that's working. So we're just coming back to the stain that we had with what we assume was dog 
dog wee or dog vomit. Um, but we were demonstrating how you would use it on cat pee as well. And we were using our product Odorex deodorizer for cats. So you'll recall the stain was down there. <laughs> I've actually got one of the doggies right here. <laughs> um, and I had friends over in the weekend, so I actually didn't come back to it later in the day. I just left that to dry. And it's very, very hard to spot, as you can see. But I believe there's one area here that we may have missed. So we're just going to treat that again. And again, I'll come back to it once it's dry. But that should be gone. It's pretty hard to spot. So I'm just going to stamp that down with the bottle, actually. Just make sure that gets into all the fibres. You can use old cloth, but what you're doing is you're not mopping it up. You're actually stamping it down. So the biggest stain that we had, I think, was around this area. That's completely gone, and that was only after one application. So that really has done the job. So stomping that down, and then I will leave that to dry. And this product, as all our products are, are safe to use around animals, so you don't need to remove the animals from the room. Um, you don't want them licking, or you don't want your children licking, or consuming the product, um, but it is safe to use around animals. So if you recall, we had a yellow, very yellow stain on our carpet caused by what you think was dog vomit, but could have been dog pee. Um, and we showed you how to use Odorex deodorizer for cats. Uh, just an example of how this product is applied. Um, but it's worked very well on that stain. And you can't see it anymore. So, result. You can get Odorex deodorizer for cats or any of our Odorex deodorizing products at www.odorex.co.nz.